Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sheree with Lifestyle to Savings. So I know I am about a week late with uploading my March budget, but I really wanted to share with you guys how I really budget out my money, how much I plan to save for the month uh, for projected, I guess, expenses, bills, and savings for the future. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right on into the budget. Um, so at the left here, we have March budget. Of course, I'll start off with my income. I'm not going to disclose my income, um, but I'll write my income here. I'm going over my accounts. So I have these various accounts. So I have a checking account in which my employer deposits my direct deposit into. And I use this checking account for any bills that has to be paid. Um, you know, using a check or online bill pay. Um, I also have a savings account. Any leftover money from my income will be transferred into the savings account. Uh, the particular account that I have is a super saver. So when I deposit so much money um, for the month, what happens is interest occurs into the account. Um, as for credit cards, Currently, I have a balance of zero dollars on my credit cards. I have three credit cards. So I started off with first a Victoria's Secret credit card. That was my first ever card that I had. Um, and then I got an American Eagle credit card. And then finally, I have a Discover credit card. So it's up to the person in itself um, if they want credit cards or don't want credit cards, I think that I am pretty responsible with my credit cards. So if I were to use um, one of these cards, I'll go ahead and use it. And then as soon as my balance um, posts to the account, I'll go ahead and pay it using um, fund money or whatever category for like the savings envelope it pertains to. And also, I am fortunate enough to not have any student loans or a car payment. I went to school, college on a full ride scholarship. And then also um, car payment, I took over my mom's car, so that was completely paid off. So I don't owe anything on the car. Um, headed straight into bills. So for the month, um, bills, so by checking account, I'll pay for Hulu. So Hulu is a total of 626. It's $5.99, but with taxes, of course, it comes up to $6.26. What I'll do is for Hulu and Association, both of these are due at the beginning of the month. So I saved for it previously. So that was saved for from February paycheck. Um, for my Association, Association dues, are $95.24. So such an odd, odd number. What I'll do is, this is saving for the next month. Um, so like I said, uh, what I'll do is $48 for paycheck one, $48 for paycheck two, and I'm actually sorry. For this month, I'll go ahead and save the 626 on paycheck number two for April's Hulu fees. So that's that. Um, I also want to note that I do save $20 a paycheck. So $40 in all as a cushion for unexpected expenses. I'll put that there. So 2020. Um, Next category is to pay in cash. So the two categories I have is phone and yard. Phone money I give to my mom. I am on the family plan and yard. I just give it to our yard guy. So phone is $95. What I'll do is I'll save $47 for the first paycheck and $48 for the second paycheck. Yard is $60 a month. So split between two paychecks, that is $30 each time. The cumulative total for the bills that I have accounted for is $256.50 plus the 
$40 in cushion. Okay, so that is already saved for. I'll go ahead down in the totals and I will put the $256, so 50 plus 40 cushion. <laughs> hopefully you can see that but it's there um and then and next for expenses so this is paid all in cash this is projected and it varies so depending on the month for this month um i'm gonna go over gas so this month i am planning on spending 40 dollars in cash so that is 20 dollars per paycheck for beauty i am projecting Another $40, $20, $20. Tomorrow I'm actually going to go get my eyebrows waxed. So I'm excited for that. Fun. My fun category is kind of expensive, I guess. Um, I project to save about $150. So $75 and $75. Fun can include anything from clothes to, I don't know, little treats for myself. Um, just whatever I want to do. If I go out with my boyfriend or go out with my friends, it's whatever I really want to spend my money on. My safety check, um, what had happened is I actually went to go get my safety check on the first of the month. So that is already paid for. That was $30. Yeah, so $30. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was $25. And then also I um, put $5 into getting new car freshener. So I'll just add that in there. So $30. That was saved from February's paycheck. So I'm not going to have anything here. Um, and then for food, my food is kind of high as well. That's $120. This is anything from buying anything at my work or picking up like snacks or lunch when I'm at work. So that's 60 and 60. Okay, so the total for here came out to, let's see, total comes out to $380. Three hundred and eighty. So I'll go ahead and I'll write three eighty. Now for my other, this is savings for the future. So this is my other cash envelopes I have. Um, starting off, car registration. I'm projecting it to be at least three hundred dollars. So that would be the goal. Currently in the envelope. I have $155 here, um, so I'm going to save $145. So for the first paycheck, that's going to be $70. Second paycheck is $75. Car maintenance, I save $50 a month. I do take my car in every three months to um, the dealership to get an oil change as well as for them to check the car, see if anything needs to be done. That's 25 and 25 for birthdays. So I have two categories for birthdays. One for my family, me, my mom, and my dad. We all have birthdays in June. So June is a very expensive month. So I'll be saving $50. 25 and 25 birthday general is for anyone else in my family as well as my boyfriend we'll save $20 there 10 and 10 occasions are for anything anniversary any events etc um, that's also going to get $20 10 10 Mother's and Father's Day, so I have my parents, so my mom and my dad, and I also have my auntie and my uncle, which is my mom's sister and brother-in-law. They're my second parents. So essentially I have two sets of parents that I have to save for. So 
that's going to get $52 for the month, so 26 and 26 Lastly, this is for the future, so for the end of the year right here. So Christmas, my goal is to have at least $1,000 saved. I don't have a very big um, immediate family, so I think 1000 is perfect. We'll be saving $90 a month. So that's 45 and 45. Lastly, I have my vacation fund. At the end of the year, my boyfriend and I are going to be taking a trip to the mainland. Um, we're going to start off small. So $50, 25, and 25. Altogether, the total for this category comes out to $527 that I will be saving for other. So I'll put that here. So $527. Okay. Now that I have all my categories, my bills for the month, my expenses that are projected, and uh, the other savings that I'm, you know, planning for the future, the grand total comes out to 1163.50. In total, this amount of $1,163.50 is what I have already budgeted for the month of March. Half of it is for just savings for the future, when I need to pay for something or when I need to buy something. Um, the other half is for my expenses and my bills alone. I am very fortunate that I don't have to pay rent. I just help my parents with the association, the yard, um, as well as some necessities within the household. That's why I do my couponing. Hopefully in the future, I do hope to get this number down quite a bit, but you gotta think, I mean, half of it is coming from the savings for the future. Um, and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this kind of gave you some insight of how I personally budget my money. I will see you guys in my next video and have a great rest of your day, weekend, evening, whenever you're watching this. See you later, guys. Bye.